The following is a Sports South original program. <clears throat> if you were stuck on a deserted island, which teammate would you want with you? And why? What's the best prank you ever pulled? Uh, what superpower would you most like to have? And why? What TV show does your spouse make you watch? What food will you absolutely not eat? This is Atlanta Dream Straight Up. If I was not playing basketball, I would be playing an orchestra, playing the saxophone. If I were playing basketball, I would be coaching. Um, in my off time right now, I'm an assistant coach at Kansas State University, um, so I really enjoy that. I've always dreamt of, of being able to be a coach because I've always wanted to impact lives the way that my coaches have impacted mine. See. No, I can't sing, but I just that's something I would probably try and pursue because I think I can sing. Number one, I probably probably would have gone into being a golf professional. And the second thing is, if I didn't make it there, that I would want to be an interior designer. If I weren't playing basketball, I would be a doctor. Um, I'd probably be personal training. Um, I want to open up a fitness center um, in the near future, so probably that. I definitely idolized Michael Jordan. Um, I had all of his his tapes that he had and tried to you know emulate his moves and everything. So he was definitely my idol. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! When I first got to America, I got into watching Kobe play, and I've stuck with him through thick and thin. So that, I think that is my favorite player now. I watched, well, Michael Jordan definitely and Cheryl Soups um, on the women's side, both of them. I just, you know, kind of just idolized them and uh, um, tried to kind of copy what they were doing out there. Steve Nash has always been somebody, he's my all time favorite now. I study hours and hours of film on him, and, um, you know, I, I think he just is a consummate point guard, and that's what I want to be. My favorite player growing up would probably have to be maybe Tina Thompson. I really like her, and then just playing with her in the league, she's such a, a great spirited young lady and, you know, a good role model. Tina Thompson puts it up, thanks that is good, with 2.4 remaining. When I was growing up, there were not a lot of role players, but, you know, I did like to watch um, the Lakers, you know, I did, I did like them. I loved Magic Johnson, I loved watching him play. There it is, it's over, and the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. The Duke players, Elena Beard, and I got to play with her for a year at Duke. I liked watching her and Diana Taurasi, the same class. Just watching, just watching that new age of females kind of go into the spotlight and really become national figures. I like Don Stanley. I like Cynthia. Just watch them. Of course, you, you always like the guys, but to see the women that are really good coming up, that was a no-brainer. I like watching TV, playing video games, sleeping. Mainly, I either sleep or watch TV. Sleep. I love to sleep. It's like one of my favorite hobbies. I like the outdoors. I like to run, um, bike, hike, uh, lift weights, uh, things like that. I love, um, you know, being outside, going on walks. Um, I love like jet skiing and water skiing, anything in the mountains, doing anything like that. Um, I would love to just be outside if I can. I really like to play video games, you know, the Wii, and I like to go to the movies. I like to go to the pool. I have a lot of things, shopping. <laughs> play golf. If I get a chance to play golf, I play golf. I like to wait list. Um, I also like to cook. I make a pretty good cheesecake. When I'm not playing basketball, I like to sit on my couch and color. I love the color, I do. But it's like when I get in my my calm mode and I just want to relax. Color just brings a peace about me and I can color some of the best, you know, I love color. And that's kind of what I do. I can turn the TV on, sit there and watch TV, read, just color, something that's just very peaceful. Coming up next on Atlanta Dream Straight Up. And they told me I had to run a mile when I really didn't put my left shoe on first usually. I don't know, it's kind of weird. You're watching Atlanta Dream Straight Up.